I'm Daniel Carter. I'm an assistant professor in the elementary education department. My area of research that I'm currently focusing on is an extension of my dissertation work, having just completed my doctorate degree. Uh, my area of focus is looking at um, the percentage of male elementary education teachers that are currently practicing. The reason that I chose this topic is because of my own uh, personal history. I'm a former elementary education teacher. And it also comes uh, as a result of, of reading some popular uh, magazines and newspaper articles uh, depicting a, almost an outcry for more males to teach at this level. One of the, the uh, stats that, are, that is uh, mentioned quite often in studies and in popular media is uh, suggested by the NEA, the uh, Practicing Teachers Union, that right now we have about 9% that are males uh, teaching at this level. And everyone pretty much agrees that we need more men, but there are some discrepancies and sometimes um, an unknown factor to figure out well, why. What is it that a man brings to this profession? And why do we need more? And how are we going to attract more men to consider their career field? So I went into the, to the research thinking that my own personal experience might help the situation, but aware of potential biases as well, having lived that life and, and knowing why I chose it personally. So I had to step back as a researcher. Uh, the first thing that I did uh, was identified two of my former students here at Eastern who were now teaching, and I sat down with these two two men and had just an open discussion about their thoughts, their feelings, uh, really looking at why they had chosen, uh, of all things, uh, to teach elementary school. And it wasn't just that why they went into teaching, but why that particular level. And try to recall what had happened to them, what were some common experiences that they had that led them to the career choice. And through that discussion, through that open dialogue, um, we uh, identified some things that they had in common, and I was able to put together a list of questions that I thought might work well for the dissertation. And just that experience of sitting down with those two individuals, two, two gentlemen that I knew previously, uh, but we had never really had that discussion, never had an opportunity in class, and, and never outside of class had we sat down and, and talked about why the three of us had, had chosen the field. So it was a re refreshing conversation and one that gave me a lot of promise and hope that if I could focus in on, on some specific questions, if I could establish that trust right from the beginning, I felt like I might be able to identify uh, some common threads. The idea being that if we could look at why men are, are teaching elementary right now and identify the things that they had in common, the things that led them to that choice, if we can identify that clearly, maybe we could recreate it. And teaching here at the university in the elementary ed department, it's, it's a goal of mine uh, to see um, maybe not more men, but making sure that we have the quality of men that are necessary for, uh, for today's youth and, and what society expects. So based on that conversation with the two gentlemen, I proceeded further and I went ahead and identified uh, 10 practicing teachers in Illinois. I sat down with each one individually and had the conversation. I had a scripted list of questions that I went through and I maintained my role as researcher. Uh, asked those questions, basically all leading to that common uh, overlying question of wh why this field, why this career choice, of all the things that you could be doing we have issues of status, there are financial reasons, uh, there is the fact that they're the minority in many of the school environments. So there, there are all these factors stacked up against a man from choosing the career field and finding out why. The conversations went extremely well. I was pleased with the openness of the individuals and there were indeed some, some common factors. The one factor that all the men had reported on was that at some point early on as high school students and, and early into their uh, even adolescence, they had worked with children and had adults comment uh, on 
the, the positive nature of that experience. Just commenting that they were good with kids and giving them a positive affirmation that that was not only something they were good at, but something that they should pursue, something that was okay, something that was, was widely accepted. And so that, that, that positive feedback from adults was something that each had, had commented on. And surprising to me, it didn't necessarily come from a male teacher, uh, from, from a coach. Uh, it could be male or female, but just that positive feedback, that validation uh, of the experience. So not only did they have experiences with the children and the validation that came uh, with that, uh, but they also had uh, the opportunities to, to, to see men in, in the field. Now that did not mean as a teacher and as a coach, as I mentioned, but men that were dedicated to uh, giving back to, to the youth. Almost all of the men that participated in, in my study had actually chosen a different career field before coming to elementary education. Uh, their experiences were everything from being in the military uh, to being a journalist, a successful businessman, uh, having degrees in accounting and other fields. Many had started in a different field before they eventually found elementary education. Uh, each had maybe proven to the, themselves or proven to society that they were capable of these so-called um, norms of, of what men can choose to do with, a, with their career. But um, after having established that, each recognized that there was something more that they wanted to, to give. And that led them to, to choose going into public education and particularly elementary uh, as their level of choice. Now, the, the issue of money uh, came up in each conversation, and it's, it's one of the issues that, while probably a factor that turns some men away from, from choosing the field, it, it, it's a factor for everyone in education. So while each recognized or, or identified uh, the financial restraints and, and uh, the sacrifices that would have to be made, it, it was not a, a deterrent. The feedback that the men gave was uh, very enriching into to the study, and based on those conversations, uh, I've had an opportunity to, to explore the topic further beyond just the dissertation work. Uh, I've had an opportunity to present at different conferences with some gentlemen uh, that teach in, in, in our area. Uh, we've conducted those uh, workshops as a panel where we sit down and we just share our personal experiences and we, we give feedback as to why we think men are, are necessary at the elementary level and how we might uh, seek active recruitment. Uh, based on that, uh, one of my hopes is that for the future we can uh, get a group of men together and go to area high schools or middle schools and give, give these young men a clear image, a clear picture, let them see who uh, the currently uh, practicing teachers are, uh, that it's possible for us to teach first and second grade and still coach varsity sports, uh, that uh, to choose this career field while you may be the minority, you may be the only man uh, in that building, that it, that it is uh, uh, indeed a valued career choice and, and one that's, that's, that's needed. So m my hope is that by going out into the field, by recruiting uh, men that are currently practicing and asking them to, to give back in a way to, to tell their story. I'm hoping that that leads us to um, the possibility of, of maybe seeing some progress here at the university level.